it's really close. We only got one shot to get this bolt in, and it should line up. Come on! Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Muscle Mini Bike Builds. What do we got going on today? Well, we're doing a conversion from the scrub brake to a disc brake. We've got all the parts laid out here. We'll show you what we're going to do. And uh, keep going forward with the Hot Tilly build on the Temecula Bob frame. This bike will be seen and revealed and dynoed at Joe's Mini Bike Reunion. Right there in La Crescenta, California on October 19th. We'll see you there. Let's get going. What do we got here? Well, we got a hydraulic brake conversion about ready to go down. All being done on the scrub brake Temecula Bob frame. What we're starting with here is the TriStar wheel that came with the bike originally. We have new, longer, grade 8, 516 bolts, some random wheel spacers, will have to be trimmed to size, a hub adapter, another set of spacers to offset the hub adapter to fit the new rotor. Now you're probably saying, where do I get this rotor? Well at the moment you don't. It's a prototype sent to me by Eric Adams of the Grey Goat Garage and I get to be the guinea pig to put all this together and make it work on the Temecula Bob frame. So let's go. So this thing is going to fit pretty good. Got to cut up the spacers like I showed you. It sits in the frame where I want it. Now it's in line with the center of the frame. Before, I, was, I wasn't happy with this thing the way it was put together. It was shimmed too far this side. There was plenty of room on that side still to clear a chain. I don't know why they had to cut over so much or shimmed over so much. I guess it was just the way that they, uh, they put it together. Not a big deal. So now it's centered in the frame, which is where I like it. I got enough clearance in here. For the, uh, for the disc to clear the frame, no problem. We got enough clearance on the back of the disc to the tire and rim for the caliper to fit. 
We do have to uh, weld in two tabs, one here, one here, to set the caliper into place. We have spaces that need to be measured and cut and put in. And this is a really easy uh, operation as far as uh, uh, converting to a disc brake. This disc brake is a 7 inch diameter disc brake, custom cut, bolt pattern is correct for the Tri-Hub, uh, Tri-Star wheel adapter. And then you just have to kind of measure and figure out what inner spacers you're going to need to bring it out to get the offset and everything right. It wasn't that hard. I didn't even have to make the spacers. Ace Hardware had all the steel spacers in stock, took a measurement, basically went from a 3 inch bolt which is what held the wheel together by itself with the uh, sprocket hub on the other side to a 5 inch bolt okay and then the addition of uh, 3 quarter inch uh, spacers in conjunction with the hub adapter worked out perfectly right offset right fit you know just it made it very very easy so this could probably be uh, or possibly be a kit that you could put together and then order it and can do a conversion all in one. Maybe that's something uh, Eric is going to look at uh, down the line. But at least I know it's a simple installation. Other than the welding part, which not everybody has a welder and can do, welding tabs on, everything else is bolt on. So that's something to consider. Let me continue going forward. And we're going to take a couple more measurements, cut these spacers, and go on from there. If you notice that my sound changed, it's because I'm running two cameras. I invested in another camera with a wireless mic, but this is the old camera that I'm using for close-ups. So, give me a little feedback in the comments and let me know uh, what you think. Let's take some measurements and uh, we'll get some of these spacers cut. Okay, with a little, little manipulation and a couple of different sets of spacers, these two measure out and work perfect for this side. The larger one, the couple of shims, three of them, were actually you know big thick uh, washers, make up the distance on the other side. They're just about the same. They're, there's probably about, I don't know, maybe less than an eighth of an inch difference side to side, and I think it has to do with the way the, it couldn't be dead center because I think the uh, axle mount welded in here from one side to the other is probably slightly off. But they're within an eighth of an inch of being almost the same spacer on each side. So right now I can, for mock-up, use this combination on this side, that combination on the other, get everything set in place so we can set our points for welding our tab for a caliper. And strictly for mock-up it's good. Then when it gets all taken apart and get ready to go to power coat, I'll get a piece of regular 5 8 steel tube and cut the exact size spacers for each side because they're going to go out and get chrome plated with some other stuff and then we'll have the thing finalized. But for the initial setup and mock up right here, this is going to work out perfectly. Let's get a little bolted up and see what happens. Power Sports. All right, we got it together. Now, I'm not going to lie. It took some manipulation to get the spacers inside there because you're working in this area here and you can't get them through here, so they had to be fed down through here, but there was enough space to get them in. The bolt had to be turned around and brought through this side. Couldn't go back through that side. The other side was pretty easy. And the other thing was, basically, I took a 3 8 drive uh, extension, put it in halfway, worked my fingers up, got one spacer on, pushed the drive, uh, the extension in, got the second spacer on, hung it there, pushed the bolt through, lined it up, boom, sent it home. And that was it. So, now it's all in. Looks really good. The gap is perfect. Center line on the, on, on the back of the tire to the center of the frame is perfect. I'm going to just throw this bolt on. Absolutely no clearance issues whatsoever. 
So I'm pretty happy the way it all went together. Got to see about truing it up a little bit. You know, these tristar wheels aren't perfect anyway. But a lot of times I'll take them apart and uh, uh, just take a look at the faces. Sometimes you can clean them up, mill them up, and get them to square up. Also check, make sure that the bearings are sitting square inside the wheel. If they're cocked a little bit, it'll throw it all off. Plus this isn't tightened up yet. Let's tighten it down, see where we go, and take our measurements for uh, welding up a couple quick brackets. Alright, there you have it. It's just set up in place, held in place by these pretty cool little uh, adjustable welding magnet uh, braces. They go in every different angle you want. You can manipulate stuff, move them around. These little cool little tools. Anyway, upper bracket is set in place to be tacked off. The rear bracket, not in the right position yet, but it's just so everything is basically set up in a position we need to get this upper bracket welded in right here. We're going to throw a tack in there, get it set. This rod you see right here is just to maintain the gap off the rotor between the uh, caliper and the rotor itself so there's no interference issues. It's angled out at the right angle to maximize contact area on the two pads and then it also clears the uh, hardware to bolt everything together. So with that said, I'm going to throw a couple tacks on this thing, get it welded into place, and then uh, we'll go from there. And there you have it. This breaks in. Got to do a little cleanup on some of the welds. Probably have to adjust or reshim the uh, the caliper itself. Got a little rubbing on one side right there. You can hear it. Not a big deal. It's not a floating disc, so you're going to get that. And the disc isn't 100% perfect yet. Just a matter of playing with it a little bit. Reshim the uh, brake caliper. Get it perfectly centered, and we're good to go. But I'm liking the install. I like the way it looks. It came out okay. Went together in uh, a short period of time. We have these two brackets welded in. Mount the caliper. One thing you have to be kind of on top of and keep an eye on is, let me put a little light on it so you can see, is the clearance basically between this bracket and I'm specifically right in there in relationship to the uh, disc uh, with a disc bolts on so the reason I say that is you have to have that as close as possible because what that does is bring the pads in full contact with the rotor so you're not like too far out and only using the edge of the pads so after manipulating it and playing with it a little bit I had to make a different bracket for the top if you remember the other bracket went straight this one had to be angled because we had to basically kick it up and that gave it uh, a square edge so to speak in line with the caliper put the uh, pads completely in line and maximize the contact area on the rotor and that's it clean up the welds a little bit and we move on to the next part of this project which will finally be to disassemble it uh, eliminate the scrub brake weld off a couple of things, finish welding this stuff on the back side and uh, do some brackets for the gas tank 
and we move forward. All right, well, that's it, man. We got them all together. I hope you like what you saw. Quick rundown, rotors mounted, wheels centered, proper spacers, brackets made up, caliper mounted, everything works just like it should. So now we have rear disc brakes. The scrub brake gets cut off, thrown away. It's done. No reason to have scrub brakes anymore. We move on to the next phase of the, uh, the build, which will be tearing it down, making a couple brackets for the gas tank right here. Uh, this front end's coming off, and we have a suspension front end we're putting on. I have two different suspension front ends I'm playing with. You'll have to see in the, in the next episode what we're going to go with. Um, but other than that, I hope you like what you saw today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like us, leave any comments you want down below, and hit the notification button to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. See ya.